Hello, good evening, lady. How are you? Hi, my fine, and you? Very good, thank you. Nice to see you. Okay, welcome guys. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here with you. Uh, we're going to start in a moment, just uh, getting ready with some things, but it's going to take a minute. Okay, welcome guys. So uh, it's a pleasure. Hello, Carlos. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, uh, well, lady, I already uh, talked with you. Carmen, hello, Carmen. Hello. Veronica, hello, hello. Hello. And we also have Julio Aguillon. Hello, Julio. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Y tenemos por ahí eh, otro, tenemos ahí alguien conectado con un número de teléfono. Si nos ayuda ubicando su nombre, por favor. Let's... So, could you help us, please? No sé si es alguno de ustedes, chicos. No. El número 77-290178. Ahí está. Perfect. Thank you. Si nos ayuda ahí, activate your microphone. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, could you mind help, helping us uh, changing your uh, phone number for your name? Oh. Uh -huh. eh, olvidé mi laptop en el trabajo, con la de mi hija, por eso no, no oh, tengo okay. toda la información acá, entonces ya voy a tratar de ponerle acá. So just give me your name, I'm, I can do it for you. Oscar, René Molina. Oscar Molina. Oscar, sí. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. And Julio, could you help us please uh, turning on your camera? Thank you, Julio. Okay, uh, well, I think that you have been uh, here starting with uh, Regal. And uh, for this module, I'm going to have the pleasure to be with you. Uh, I'm going to talk about some important aspects uh, during the first part of the session. So, um, well, if you have any question, uh, meanwhile, you, you can ask for sure. And just let me share with you. Okay, as you may know, um, as uh, the first part of the class, uh, we always take the attendance list. So that's important for us because uh, you know that is a requirement of in support, right? And uh, we're going to start with that, with um, attendance. So just say present, please. I'm going to be calling you uh, with your names, okay? Ana Marlene Andrade Osorio. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Verónica. Blanca Isabel de Rodríguez. Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Okay. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Carmen Elena Morataya. 
Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Clelia Estela Flores. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. No. Eh, Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Presente. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joana Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Lady uh, Nilton Alexander Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Alexander. Uh, how do you like to be called Nilton or Alexander? Present, present. Nilton, uh, Alexander. Nilton, okay. Yes, Oscar Rene Molina. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Angeles Enriquez. Okay. I'm here yet. Uh, Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Okay, well, I hope the rest can join us later. So if you know, then tell them that it's fine to start with the class, right? Um, well, we're going to start, guys. Uh, again, uh, we have some other faces uh, here. So welcome. Please, uh, if you have your camera off, please try to turn it on, okay? So I really need it in order to um, know that you're here and that you're going to participate, right? Sure. So that's only uh, Yes? For a moment, is uh, good the communication. Ah, okay, so let me verify that, okay? Well, you know, this happens with the internet. <laughs> we have here in yeah. country, right? <laughs> well, but uh, I have it. It won't cause any trouble. Ahora sí, ya se escucha. Me confirman. Sí, sí, okay. ahorita sí, pero por ratito se va. La, como cuando carga quizá la, la, el Netflix, ahí se, como que se va. Ok. Thank you, Oscar. Ok, guys, so welcome. This is our, your, four, uh, your, let, yeah, it's module four. So you've been with us for a while, right? Uh, my name is Arely Ramirez, and today is January the 25th, right? And so you're starting with the right foot, right? So let's start. See? Okay. So, um, well, just to start, I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience. So it's important for you to know a little bit about myself. Um, I'm Arely Ramirez. I got a bachelor's degree in linguistics apply in English as a foreign language. I have also got a certification as to in order to teach uh, the in this program. That's the English for Word program, right? And I'm currently studying a master in technology. So I think that's important. But thanks God, I had the chance to do it. But uh, it's taking some time too. Um, my interests are design, digital marketing, um, entrepreneurship, and technology. So that these are some things I'm into. I really love learning. And I hope that you can learn a little bit about my, uh, my experience. And um, well, I work with um, some different academies like Oxford, CCSA, um, some other academies like International Language School and uh, the business school too, speak prolingua and well, speak right. Um, in here you have my phone number if you don't have it, so you you may um, write it down, right? Or um, if you want to uh, talk with me, so you can send me a message, right? So we're going to be in touch during the whole module. So we're starting today, and we're going to finish around, let's say, the twenty seventh of uh, February, I think. Okay, so just to start up, uh, let me know if you can see my presentation. Can you see it, guys? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start with our warming up. Um, well, so let me check something. 
well, we're going to use the following statements in order to introduce ourselves. So I want to know your name, your age, and the place where you live. And uh, if you want to add some more information, let's say your interest, you can add it, okay? For example, you may say, I'm into soccer, I'm into um, any other interest that you may have, okay? Okay, but you have that structures. Hello, my name is Arely. I'm 29 years old. I'm 20 years old. I don't know, you look young. And I live in, so you, you may uh, mention the place where you live, like the department, or if you want to mention, yeah. Let, let's say, if you want to be specific, you can do it, right? Okay, let's see. I'm going to start with the first participant. And let's see, Anna. Anna, please, Hello. will you introduce yourself? Anna, Marlene. Hello, my name is Anna Marlene Andrea de Osoro. I'm 34 years old. I live in Chinameca. Okay. Excellent, Marlene. Um, Veronica? So we have Hello. two Annas. Okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Veronica. I am 28 years old. I live in, in Ilo Vasco. Okay, nice. That's a beautiful place. Um, Carlos, Carlos, Umaña. Hello, my name is Carlos Umaña. I am 34 years old. I live in San Miguel. Okay, San Miguel. I so saw it's really far from San Salvador. I went to Sulotan, like, let's say two weeks ago, and it's really far, and San Miguel is farther, right? Let's see, Veronica. Hello, uh, my name is Veronica Burgos. I am 38 years old, and I live in Santo Tomas. Okay, Santo Tomas. Um, let's see, Carmen. Elena. Hello, my name is Carmen Elena. I am a 23 years old. I'm living in San Pablo Tacachico. Okay, I haven't been there. Mm, okay, um, let's see, we continue with uh, Carmen Guadalupe. So we have double. <laughs> Carmen Guadalupe, please help us. Okay, hello, my name is Carmen Guadalupe. I am 33 years old. I live in Soyapango. Okay, thank you, Carmen. Lelia? Um, hello, my name is Claudia Flores. I am 32 years old. I live in Lourdes, Colón. Okay, so wow, you're very young, guys. And let's see, Diana. Hello, hello, Diana Hueso. Hello, my name is Diana Hueso. I am 27 years old. I am. I live in San Pablo Tacatico. Okay, nice, Diana. Thank you, Fernando. Where is your camera, Fernando? Thank you. Hello, my name is Fernando Figueroa. Uh, I am 25 years old. I live in Santa Tecla. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Julio. Julio Guillón. Hello. My name is Julio Guillón. I am 40 years old. I live in Lourdes. Hey, Lourdes. So you don't look like 40. <laughs> Let's see, a lady, Joanna. Hello, my name is Lady. I am 26 years old. I live in Morazan. Okay, thank you, lady. Milton. Hello, my name is Nilton Alexander Vasquez. I am 21 years old and I live, I live in Ciudad Delgado. Ciudad Delgado, okay, Nilton, thank you. Um, Oscar. Good evening. Hello. My name is Oscar Rene Molina. 
I am uh, 46 years old. I live in Santa Tecla. Okay. I, I practice hobbies, mountain bike. Oh, what's that? Is the um, Eco Parque Lespino. Ah, okay. You go. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Oscar. So I visit that. Uh, yeah, I visited that place. Thank you, Oscar. Um, let's see. We continue with uh, Rafael. Hello, my name is Rafael Hernandez. I am 36 years old. I live in San Martin. Okay, nice. We live in San Martin and we're neighbors. Then let's see Rosa de Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Rosa de Los Angeles in Texas. I am uh, 51 years old. I live in Soyapanco. Okay, Rosa, thank you so much. And we finish with Veronica. Hi, Veronica. Veronica Burgos. Hello. It's my second time, but hello, my name is Veronica Burgos. I am 40 years, eight years old, and I live in Santo Tomas. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> I thought that same. Thank you, Veronica. Uh, okay, guys, so now let's continue. And we're going to talk about these. Uh, well, probably you already know how the way that we work, but this is just a reminder. So you have, um, uh, let's say, the dates where you have to take the midterm uh, exam and the final exam. So here we have the dates. It's going to be on uh, February the 7th, the first uh, midterm exam, right? The final exam is going to be um, due on the 21st of February, but uh, well, probably uh, we need to check that again, but this is an estimate, okay, of the exams, the midterm and the final exam, right? Um, solamente de recordarles acá, chicos, y bueno, creo que ustedes ya lo manejan bastante, eh, si es primera vez, y recuerden que es necesario que tengamos el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones. Se les ha proporcionado a cada uno de ustedes su, el acceso a la plataforma. Si hay alguien que no haya recibido esa información, eh, pues háganoslo saber, deje un mensaje o pues active su... Su, su micrófono para que podamos tomar nota, pero me parece que ya se les envió a todos. So, uh, remember that the homework is going to be found in the platform, right? Eh, también vamos a contar con la plataforma, siempre seguimos trabajando con la plataforma. Eh, cada sesión, es decir, cada día, usted se le va a asignar una actividad. Entonces, eh, muy pendientes ahí, ¿verdad? Porque no nos pase que llegó el sábado y pues no, no hice ninguna. Probably it's going to take less than you think. Probablemente tome menos de lo que usted piensa. Pero eh, sí es importante, ¿verdad? Que, que se tomen el tiempo para realizar cada una de estas actividades. Ok. Um, bueno, también tenemos acá el manual. Usted lo va a encontrar alojado siempre en la plataforma. And that's old with this slide. También recordemos ahí eh, los requisitos, siempre ingresen su nombre completo. Creo que ya no tenemos problema con eso. Yo creo que todos hemos seguido los lineamientos. Y seguimos por acá. También otra indicación. So remember that we need your cameras on. Siempre necesitamos las cámaras encendidas. Porque eso da muestra de evidencia entre nosotros y entre Insafor que usted ha estado durante toda la sesión, ¿verdad? Eh, puede haber... Puede haber alguna excepción, pero la verdad es que si nos hace saber alguna situación, pues podríamos ver la manera de ayudarle. Pero recuerden que son requisitos. Ok. So remember, we have 100% of attendance. So we have to complete with that 120 minutes. And uh, we're going to take uh, or pass attendance two times. Well, we started earlier today, but uh, it can be, um, well, probably 8.20. I'm going to consider that. <laughs> and um, 
at the end of that session, right? And remember that you have to say present and your camera must be on. Recuerden decir presente y su cámara debe estar encendida siempre que hacemos asistencia también. Ok. Um, vamos a ver si tenemos por ahí camaritas apagadas también. Recuerden que la vamos encendiendo. Uh, we also have some sessions one-on-one -on -one after each class. Entonces también siempre seguimos con las sesiones uno a uno después de clase. Son diez minutos. And you're going to be assigned that 10 minutes. Okay, if you have questions or if you have any doubt about the platform, so we don't give permissions, okay? I don't know, uh, do you have any questions, uh, any question about it, guys? Preguntas, chicos. No questions? Así ya le voy a preguntar. <laughs> no, I'm going to continue with the next one, okay? Um, I remember that it's important to keep some, um, well, some etiquette uh, things like the bottom uh, or mute. If you don't have to say anything, well, you mute yourself and the camera must be on. Uh, we, all, we use the chat, uh, we use the breaker rooms. And if you have questions, you ask for help and we respect each other, right? So this is uh, important. Okay, so here I have a map or let's say uh, the homework that we're going to have during the module uh, week one. We're going to start working on sec section one from the 25th to uh, the 31st of January. Okay, so this is going to be our first week. So I have to see all your assignments done in the platform. Entonces, todas las actividades tenemos que tenerlas completas en ese lapso de tiempo, ¿verdad? El 31 de enero ya tenemos, eh, terminamos la primera semana, tenemos que tener completa la plataforma. Pues eso no, le, no les, se les va a dificultar en ningún eh, sentido porque la vamos trabajando diariamente. Ok. Um, semana 2, from the 1st of February to the 7th of February. And at the end of the second week, you have the midterm. So this is just for you to check that, okay? Uh, week three is going to be from the February the 8th to February the 14th. And the last week is going to be uh, considered in the period of um, the 15th of February to the 21st of February, okay? So just uh, take a screenshot so you probably may need it. Vale una capturita ahí para que tengan ahí bien en mente las fechas. Porque nosotros enviamos reporte cada semana. Cada semana nosotros vamos enviando el reporte de, sus, eh, de su avance y de su asistencia también. ¿verdad? Ok, questions. No questions, right. Let's see. Um, well, we also have some uh, descriptions of the program. Uh, this is a must for our online classes. So make yourself if uh, you're not participating or be on time. We will start the class at eight o'clock. So you have to be at eight o'clock. Your camera, uh, find a quiet space and raise your hand if you want to participate. And the, the other one is not eating, right? Not eating. <laughs> mm, okay. So please, uh, I really need that. I don't know, guys, uh, do you have any question? Chicos, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? No, no question. No question, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Only, only hey. question. Okay. Only Ahí dice no ir, pero a veces por la hora, ¿verdad? Cuando uno viene a hacer algo a la carrera y no ha comido, eh, es preferible estar, aunque sea comiendo ahí con el micrófono un poquito apagado y que, que perderse las, las, los minutos de clase. Entonces, a veces solo se le hace así a la cámara y ahí está comiendo uno algo escondidita, no sé, pero ahí dice que es prohibido comer y no se pierde la clase. Yes, well, you don't have to miss the class, but well, try to do something like as you mentioned, right? 
Uh -huh. ahí, ¿verdad? Para you have to planes. consider, yeah, so you have to look for some ways, right? <laughs> okay, but uh, not in, in front of the camera, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, I agree with you. Let's see, uh, let's continue. This is our session one. And Carlos, please, could you help me uh, reading the agenda for today, please? Carlos eh, Miguel, Carlos Miguel, read the agenda. Okay, session one. Uh, warming up, uh, class object, no, number one. Warming up, uh, number two, class objective, uh, number three, three, three task. Uh, four, task preparation, five, task, uh, number six, wrap, wrap up wrap up uh, number seven a segment okay assignment well in the warming up we're going to have a some kind of a let's say an introduction or a, an idea in order to find out what you know or a, just the game probably uh rosa de los angeles tell me oh yeah i don't see uh, i think hello Hola Rosa, uh, dígame, dígame. No can, you see, can you see the agenda? No? No, no. Okay, so will you mind access it back again? Access it back again. Check your check okay. your app. Uh-huh. So probably you're in another screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the rest, can you see the agenda? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to start with our class objective. Please, Julio, will you mind reading that, please? I will be able to describe different features about, about the product that my or someone else workplace push purchase Purchase. okay thank you and uh well i'm going to start with this um the instructions uh, we have selected car number ask the question to a classmate and answer the question so please participate actively let me see if i can open that What is pronunciation actively? Actively. Actively. Okay, actively. Thank you. Uh -huh. Actively. Okay. So can you see the cars? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're going to uh, work in this individually. So you have got a question, you select a number, then uh, you will see a question. And later on, you're going to ask the question to a classmate. The question is not for you. You're going to ask the question to somebody, somebody else, right? Okay, let's see. We're going to start with Marlene, please pick a number. Uh, no sé si lo puedo hacer porque estoy desde el teléfono. Um, no, just number, mention number, ten. number. Number 10. Okay, thank you. Marlene, ask the question to a classmate. Ask the question. Okay, Carlos Miguel, what is your favorite color? Okay, my favorite color is red. Red, okay. So how many things um, do you have in that color? Do you have some things that show us that that is your favorite color? I don't know, a car, the t-shirt, the shirt, something. Do you have something red? 
Carlos? Very well. <laughs> do, do you have something red? Yes, no. Yes. Um, like what? I don't know. Something. Um, a shirt. Um, in my, my car. Your car. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to ask you guys. Let's see. Um, Carlos, pick a number. Okay, number eight. Eight, okay. Okay, now this one. See, like, pick another one, please. Okay, mm -hmm. number nine. Number nine, okay. <coughs> so please uh, read the question and ask this question to somebody else. Uh, what's your favorite celebration of the year? For example, Christmas, uh, Halloween. Uh -huh. so like Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh -huh. Thanksgiving. To whom? The question. Mm. Um, Oscar Molina. Oscar Molina. Oh, my favorite uh, celebration is the Christmas. It's Christmas. Why? Yeah. And 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 every everything. And Do you like the, the presents, the food? Yes, uh -huh. the tree. He likes the petardo cracker. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. And oh. mm -hmm. very, very, very much eat. Eat uh, very much dinner. Mm, okay. My family. My family. What do you like to have for dinner? Um, uh, turkey. Turkey, okay. Turkey. And chicken. Pan con pollo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Nice. Okay, uh, Carlos. Um, yeah, Oscar, I mean, Oscar, could you uh, select another number and ask the question? Uh, 16. 16, okay. Please ask this question to somebody else. Okay, um, Veronica. Veronica. I too, Veronica. <laughs> Aha, yeah, mention her last name. Okay. Hi. Ana Veronica. Veronica. Oh. Ana, Ana, okay. Okay. Hi. How, okay. how do you how do you spend your free time? Uh, my spend your free time is sleep. You sleep. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, nice. So that's a nice my, way. my work is hard. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, okay. Well, but if you're okay, <laughs> well, but uh, what else do you like to do? Do you do any other thing during your free time besides sleeping? Um, I mean, do you practice any sport? Do you like to watch TV series, uh, series like in, in Netflix probably or something else? Um, working. Working. Wow. <laughs> So we all admire you. Okay, um, Anna, please, could you uh, pick a number and ask the question? Seven. Seven, okay. Okay. And my question is Veronica Woods. Perfect. What's your favorite season and why? Um, Hello. Hello. My favorite season uh, is is I don't I don't know how to say when when it's raining. Winter. 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 Ah, okay. Why? Okay, with the, because it's is more fresh the season because I don't have where where it's hot. And mm -hmm. I like the the 
the minus sun, the sunshine for my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, it hurts you. Okay. Sí. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> sí, okay. Veronica. Sí, we're going Burgos. To... Burgos. <laughs> okay. Yes. So we're going to have fun. Let's see. Um, please pick a number. Veronica Burgos. Uh, number two. Okay. Okay, uh, is if if you if you could live anywhere in the world for a year, where would it be? It be. Uh -huh. uh, I will question to. Let me see, Blanca. Blanca. Okay. Let's see where it's is. Ajá, Blanca, Blanca Delgado, right? O Blanca yes. Isabel. O oh, Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Okay. So Blanca, tell us if you could live anywhere in the world for a year, where would it be? I could, I could live in Paris. Paris. Why? Paris. To be this Paris. Okay, so you would like to be um to live in Paris. Okay. See Blanca, please pick a number. Number 15. Okay, 15. Okay. Select a classmate. What, what are the three best apps in your phone? In Carmen Elena. Carmen Elena. Okay, Carmen, tell us. Hello, hello, Carmen. Let's see where is Carmen Elena. Activate your microphone, Carmen Elena Morataya. Hello, uh, my best apps is WhatsApp. My, mm -hmm. Or WhatsApp. The second For one. work. Just one, WhatsApp. Uh, do you have any other app? No? No. No, how about Facebook, Messenger, TikTok, Netflix? No? Uh, TikTok. TikTok, okay. Instagram? You may use Instagram, probably. No? No. No. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, please pick a number. Um, six. Six. Okay. Ask this question. <laughs> Name is three things you do like. You okay. don't like. Select somebody, mm -hmm. please. Diana Hueso. Diana, okay, Diana. What is Diana? Let's see. Yeah, yes, Diana, tell us. Activate your microphone. Um, Name. I don't please. like. Uh -huh. um, they lie, let's see. Uh, Pacaya. Like, mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Pacaya? Yes, no? No. No, okay. What else? Do you like uh, hamburgers, pizza hut? How about you? <laughs> Something okay. else that you don't like. Just bacaya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Please uh, pick a number. Uh, number one. Okay. Number one. Let's see. 
describe yourself using only one word. It's like a victim. This is not a punishment. Select somebody, Diana. Select a classmate. Nobody? Pick, an, pick uh, somebody from your class. I don't know, we have Rafael, Nilton, uh, Rosa, Lady, Julio. Uh, uh -huh. Rosa. Rosa, okay. Rosa, describe yourself using only one word. Unhappy. Okay, nice. Let's see. And um, well, I really like to continue with the game, but we're going to start with the game in here, okay? Because we need to cover some other things. So now let's continue with uh, that was just for um, knowing a little bit about you. So that, that's really important to get some information about you and um, well, learning about you, right? Now let's continue. Question, guys, in your work, so you probably may um, work with different things like, like, like products or things like that. So I'd like to know um, about this question. What are some of the most common products you buy nowadays? Or what are some products that your company buys? So do you, do you know about your company's uh, purchases? So do you know about that things, about the products that they acquire? Let's see, Oscar. Tell me, for example, we have some examples. Uh, number one, cloth, face coverings, hand sanitizer, toilet paper, sanitizer, I mean, and disposable gloves. How about you? So what are some of the, of the most common products you buy? Yes, I buy a uh, and sport, sport cloth. Ah, okay, sports cloths, nice. Let's see, um, Carlos Miguel, how about you? Um, uh, sport. Sports clubs, okay. Sport clubs, uh -huh. Okay, nice. And uh, let's see, us have uh, who's uh, distracted. Uh, let's see, Carmen Guadalupe. So, what are some of the most common you buy? Mm. Clothing, baby products, um, office supplies, sports. So it can be for you or for the company. Mm -hmm. Hand sanitizer. Okay, sanitizer, okay. And Julio Guillon, tell us, how about you or your company? Cloth face Cloth. covering. Cloth face covering, yeah, that's it. required right now, right? Uh, let's see, Rafael Castillo. Uh, disposable gloves. Disposable gloves. Okay. Nice. And how about you? Um, let's see, Carmen Elena. What's your favorite singer? What? No, I mean, no, no, the question it's this one. What are some of the most common products you buy? In your company, uh, for example, um, well, okay. uh -huh. for example, uh, machines or clothes or, well, due to the pandemic uh, in the previous uh, years, we have been uh, buying this kind of products. Teacher, yo lo voy a ser sincera. Eh, a nos, bueno, nosotros el de recursos humanos no metió en el curso, pero yo realmente hay varias cosas que yo no entiendo. 
Entonces, por eso es que me quedo como que nosotros, él no nos dijo en qué curso nos había escrito. Y según yo, eh, nos había puesto en uno, en principiante, pues que no sabíamos nada. Y yo estoy viendo que no entiendo nada de, lo que, de la clase. Ok. Bueno, bueno, está bien. Vamos a hablar en el chat, pero después de la clase. Así que mientras tanto, sigamos con la clase normal, ¿ok? Ok. No te preocupes, es básico, ¿ok? Pero gracias, gracias, Elena. No te preocupes. Ok, so ahora vamos a continuar. Um, let's see. Clelia, Clelia, tell me, ¿qué son algunos de los más productos más comunes que buy? Um, office supplies. Office supplies, okay. Yeah. Okay, so here we have a, some vocabulary that we're going to discuss and you will find this vocabulary in, um, well, on your manuals. So we're going to start with the first one. For example, uh, we have a, to work in pairs, uh, but we already have the matching here. So look at this, number one. Size, size. I want you to repeat that with me, okay? Size. 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 Okay. Size. 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 Wait. 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 Price. 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 Dimensions. Dimension. Battery life. 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 Storage. 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 Function. Function. And warranty. 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 Again, number one. Size. 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 Number two, weight. 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 Number three, price. 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 Number four, dimensions. Dimensions. Dimension. Number five, battery life. Battery life. Six, battery life. life. Six, storage. 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 Seven, storage. function. 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 Eight, warranty. 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 Okay, so now let's look for the definitions. So much the different features on a product with its definition. Number one, size. So that is, uh, I think, overall dimension or magnitude. Okay, so try to repeat that with me. I think overall dimension or magnitude. I think overall dimension or magnitude. Okay. Number two, waste. A body's relative mass or the quantity contained by something. Okay. A body's relative mass. A body's relative mass or the quantity, quantity contained by, by something. Contained. 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 Something. Okay, number three, price. So what's price? Volunteer. Volunteer? Price. Who the wants amount, to read? Uh -huh. The amount of money required for something. Excellent, okay. The amount of money required or paid for something. So that's a price. Uh, four dimensions. So we have volunteer for number four. So what's the dimension? The instrument of proposition of some kind. Okay. Measurements or proportions of some kind. So what's the meaning for measurements? Idea? Measurements? Or proportions of some kind. Kind, kind, kind. Sure. What is the, the production the measurement? Medidas, las medidas. medidas. Ajá, las medidas okay. proporcionan de algún tipo, right? That's the dimension. Okay. And uh, 
Number five, you're welcome. Battery life. Who wants to read it? Battery life. A measure of battery performance and longevity. Okay, a measure, measure of battery performance and longevity. So we have the battery lives, right? So the duration, la medida de la batería, right? So how much space or how much duration does it have? Longevity. Mm -hmm. And we Teacher also, me. I'm sorry? Yeah, uh, please repeat uh, definition battery life. Okay, let me see. So I think the question is with the word, with the last word, right? La definición de la de batería, de la vida de batería, podría decirme cómo se pronuncia longevity. Longevity. Oh, yes. So it's longevity. Uh-huh. Longevity. Um, body of life. A measure of body performance um, and longevity. Longevity. Yes. Longevity. Longevity. Uh-huh. Longevity. Longevity. Yeah. Longevity. Okay. And, um, okay. Storage. Somebody who wants to read storage. The space available for retention of something. Okay. Um, number seven, function. Can you, can you see that one? Function. Practical use or purpose in design. Mm -hmm. The function. And the warranty. A promise. A promise, promise to repair replace something, something within this period of time. Okay, thank you. So now let's see if you have got, uh, please take a screenshot. I'm going to send you a link. So let's see how will you do it. Let me see how you're doing. Something I'm going to start with this one. So hold on for a second. Excuse me. Oh, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Wait. Okay, so listen up. I'm going to send you a link. And so I want you to try to match the definitions with the correct meaning, okay? So let me see, uh, let me know if you got the, got the link. Do you have the link? Yes? Okay, so open the link, open the link, open the link, and try to match the vocabulary with the definition. Okay, so you only drag this like this. Okay, do you um, do you open the link, guys? Yes. It's in the yes. Zoom chat, okay? So try to match it and send us the screenshot with the results. Hagamos ahí, emparejemos ahí la definición con el vocabulario. It's the one that we have been studying. Okay. 
Hmm. Teacher, una pregunta. Dígame, Verónica. Eh, eh, fíjese que yo este día estoy recibiendo la clase en el teléfono porque no traje la laptop. Entonces, no, no sé, en el teléfono como que no puedo hacer este ejercicio, no, no, no me sale. ¿No se lo abre? No, no, no. Ajá, sí está la pantalla, pero cuando quiero mover las, las, los, los de, para ir, los, no se puede. Uh -huh. Bueno, entonces, mañana está bien, pero... Ah, que si es, si es en el celular un poquito más complicado, pues sería de drag también, de arrastrar. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero si no, lo hacemos acá todos juntos, ya al final. Ok, okay let's see. Uh, well, let's see. Number one, we have warranty. What's the definition for warranty? A promise to repair or replace something waiting a period of time. Ok, nice. Size, somebody else. Oh, it's going to try. Size. How about size, guys? Size. I think overall dimension or magnitude. Okay. Function. What do you think, guys? Okay, battery life, a measure of battery per performance and longevity. Longevity, longevity. Longevity, okay. Okay, function. Mm, okay, battery life. Mm -hmm. How about battery um, life? What do you think? Guys, Nilton, let's see. Somebody else. Uh, Clelia, Carmen Guadalupe. Well, <laughs> let's see. Um, so, what do you think? Battery life. So, what's that? Finish. A measure of battery performance and longevity. Longevity. Finish. Okay, so it's not function. Mm. Is it function or not? Measure the battery performance? Uh, no. Um, no. 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 Battery, battery life. Okay. Thank you. How about, let's see, waste? I finish. Finish. I finish. Me pareció una nota, si se ahí le vaya a llegar a su correo. Okay, send it, uh, send it to the group. So we're going to see, uh, check that. Wait, okay. what's wait? Wait, um, maybe a uh, wait is a body relative. Most of the quality contained by something. Okay, how about storage? Space uh, for space. some time. Okay, the space available, right? The dimensions. Make sure. Of Price the amount of money required or pay for something. Seconds. Mm, okay, the second one. Price. The amount the of money, of money required. The amount of money. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, and function. Yes. Practical use of purpose and design. Mm, okay, so do you all agree with this? Yes? No? Do you agree? Do we submit the answers? Yes? yes. No? Yes. yes. You ready? You sure? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so um, try to remember that, okay? Because it's going to appear um, in a, an assignment that you, you will have in the future. Okay, so now let's continue. Thank you, guys.
Okay, so we continue with the class and we're going to check something else. So just give me some time. Product future. Okay, here. So we're going to start with our pre-task vocabulary practice and we're going to check some um, words, yeah. okay? So I'll, I'll need you to repeat the vocabulary with me, okay? No. The first one, flower, flower. Flower, flower, flower. Flower, flower. 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 And in here, you will see the pronunciation and you also see the word is that um, countable or countable. So you means uncountable, C means countable. <coughs> Let's practice. Flower. 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 Broccoli. 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 Here, uh, add an E, please. Aquí me la agregan una E porque ella me la comí. Me gustó. Broccoli. Okay. The next one is. Asparagus. 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 Okay, so listen and repeat. Asparagus. 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 Okay. How do you pronounce this one? Flower. Flower. Okay. Flower. 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 Milk. 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 Strawberry. Strawberry, 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 Banana. 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 Rice. 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 No A. Listen, listen up. Sugar. 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 So remember, that you have that in parentheses, so it means that R is not, um, well, necessary in that region. So it's British, not needed. American, well, they added, right? R, burger or bugger. Burger. Um, burger. Jam. 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 Biscuit. 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 Cocoa. 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 I'm going to play Cocoa. this one. So listen up. 
Hold on, hold on. Share some. Let me know if you hear this, okay? <clears throat> Coco. 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 Or Coco. Coco. Carrots. 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 Watermelon. 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 Meat. 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 Okay. Again. Flower. 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 Egg. Cheese. Cheese. Butter. 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 Biscuit. 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 Uh -huh. Just remember that this is the way how you write it. Recuerden que aquí tienen la escritura. Y acá la pronuncia. Biscuit. Biscuit. Okay. Biscuit. Yes. Uh, to attendance. The attendance. Yes. Uh, I'm, I, I'm going to take it at 9.40. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, broccoli. 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 Spinach. 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 Strawberries. 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 Sugar. 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 Or sugar. 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 Or sugar. Sugar. And how about this one? Do you remember that one? Cocoa. 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 Oh, okay, perfect. Awesome. Very good. Help us with the mic. Okay. Okay. Asparagus. 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 And this one? Co Coconut. Coconut. Coconuts. Okay. Coconut. Coconuts. How about this one? To Tomato. 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 Right? Tomato. Tomato or tomato? Tomato. Tomato. Rice. Rice. No, flower, flower, flower. flower. Mm -hmm. Tea, tea, tea. Banana, 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 banana. 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 Burger. burger, burger, burger. Watermelon, watermelon, milk, 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 milk. salt. 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 Rice. 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 Jam. 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 And Meat. 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 Okay. Meat. Perfect. Awesome. Congratulations. Let's see. Um, I need a volunteer. I want to listen to, let's see, Rafael, please. The first row, this one. Pronounce the first line, please. Okay. Flower, egg. Cheese, buttered, biscuit. Okay, butter or butter. Buttered. Mm -hmm. Butter. Butter. Biscuit. Thank you. Veronica Burgos. This one, second line. Broccoli. Broccoli. Spinach. Spinach. Okay. Continue, continue. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Sugar. E cocoa. Okay. Sugar. 
Okay. Sugar. sugar. Or sugar. Sugar. Okay. sugar. Uh -huh. It's not a strong A as in Spanish. Sugar. 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 Okay. Sugar. 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 It's sugar. a little bit weaker. Es un poquito más suave. Suave. Okay. Sugar. 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 Thank you, Veronica. Let's okay, see. Blanca Isabel. Third uh, line, please. Column, I mean, column. Uh, Spurs, coconuts, tomatoes, fish, carrots. Okay, fries, fries. 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 Mm -hmm. Do you like fries? Fries, fries. Do you like fries? Yes, no? Fries. Uh huh. Do you like fries, guys? Yes or no? With a burger? No? Yes. 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 But, um, okay, Diana, please continue with this one. Or column. Column. Uh huh. Oh. La. Uh huh. P. Banana, burger, and watermelon. Okay, watermelon. Thank you. Then Julio. Uh, oh, no, Julio. Um, Oscar, please. Milk. The last one. <laughs> Oscar. Milk. Thank you. Milk. Okay. Oak, rice. Jam. And meat. 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 Okay. Thank you, guys. So now let's continue. So we're going to study today the uh, countable and uncountable uh, nouns. So we're going to check. Um, this is just additional. If you uh, want, you may take a screenshot because we're going to use some uh, vocabulary in um, the following, let's say, slides. Okay, we have a bun, sandwich, apple, orange. So listen and repeat that with me, okay? Bun. Um, sandwich. 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 Orange. 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 Burger. 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 Fries. 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 Oh, yeah. Eggs. 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 Oh, yeah. Salad. 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 Oh, yeah. Vegetables. Oh, yeah. Vegetables. 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 Cookies. Cookies, Cookies. Potatoes. 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 Watermelon. 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 Peas. Peas. Cherries. Cherries. Grapes. Right. Right. So we're going to look at the, this difference, right? Countable and uncountable. So just remember that. Uncountable nouns. Brand. 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 Fruit. Brand. Fruit. Fruit. Juice. 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 Meat. 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 How about this one? Rice. 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 Cereal. 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 Jam. 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 Milk. Coffee. Coffee. Sugar. 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 Flour. 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 Olive oil. Olive oil. 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 Salt, salt, 
Master. 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 Okay, thank you. Uh, take a screenshot, please. Um, I have no. a question. I don't like it. Very yes, much. tell us. Do you? Uh, yeah. Why tea? Uh, is uncountable in another? Which one? In another. Uh, tea. Tea. Ah, oh, because we're another referring. Uh, uh -huh. We're going to study that in a moment, but it's because of uh, the liquid. So we're talking about the liquids. Yeah, but, but in another presentation, say the both. Ah, let me check. Yes, I know. It's because you're counting um, the cup. A cup of tea, it's different, but you have to add a partitive. A cup, una uh, taza. Eh? Mm. Uh-huh, but the liquid, it's oh. uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay, so now let's study a little bit about this contable nouns. And let's see, Julio, please, will you read the information here, contable nouns? How about singular and plural form? Can you... Can you use a singular verb or a plural verb? Examples, uh, we can count. We can count a tree, two, three. And the book is old, the books are old. Okay, so basically countable nouns have a singular form and a plural form, right? And we used, mm -hmm, we can count these one tree or a tree and two or more right so that that is why that is uh, why this is countable because it has a plural form the book is all the books are all right uncountable nouns please uh, help me with this one uh, carlos uh, roberto uncountable uncountable how mm -hmm. only one for no plural always use a singular verb mm -hmm. cannot use an and yeah. an, an or a number before them okay. okay we cannot count examples butter, butter. can we say butters butters no no right no so but Aha, uh -huh. so that is a bad example, right? Sugar, continue, please. Sugar is weak. Okay. Rice. Rice. Bread. To rice it. Uh, <coughs> a bread. To bread. Okay, nice. So you can check in here that we have marked out this because that is not correct, right? Since no, we have uncountable nouns, we cannot uh, have a plural form when we have a countable, uncountable noun, right? Sugar, no sugars, right? Rice, no two rice. Bread, not two breads, right? Right? Okay, so when we talk about uncountable nouns, just remember that we don't have these uh, articles a or n or a number before then so now let's continue with uncountable nouns are often yeah. going to study um, different yeah. ways um in which you can find it's uncountable nouns. <laughs> a question so far questions no no sí. rafael okay no question ahí del 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 trabajo Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Rafael. Excuse me, on, on the call. Hello, hello. Let's see. Well, uh, help us with this one. Um, let's see. I need somebody else. Oscar, will you help us with uncountable are often? The first one. Okay. Abstract ideas cannot touch. Mm -hmm. Low freedom, education, luck, health, beauty, music, hunger. Mm -hmm. 
So look at this. So you, we have a classification, right? For uncountable nouns. So we have abstract ideas. So the things that you cannot touch, uh, things made of smaller parts, for example, sugar, rice, salt, salt. and flour, salt. dirt, salt. dust, traffic, grass, and again. Mm -hmm. So um, let's say things made of smaller parts, some food, so cut into small parts, for example, Bread, bread, fish, fish cheese, cheese, chocolate, 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 bacon, food, meat, food, bacon, and food, ham. ham. Okay. So some food cannot be countable. So this is uncountable. So we, because we refer to um, bread in general fish in general, cheese in general, chocolate in general. So you cannot count that. Meat in general, bacon, food, and ham. So that's why uh, they cannot be countable. Recuerden que estamos hablando de cosas en general. El pan, el pescado, el queso, chocolate. So that's why. Uh, liquids. ¿Cómo decir? El pescado, decimos. El ah. pescado. El pescado, yeah, you're right. El queso, el chocolate, algo así. Ajá, in general, you're not talking about something specific. Because there is, ajá, hay una forma también como nosotros podemos hacer algunos sustantivos incontables, contables, pero cuando hablamos de manera general, no, sino que tenemos que agregarles ahí un partitivo, es decir, de unas palabras adicionales. Por ejemplo, lo que damos... Yo fui a pescar y, y traigo tres pescados y ya no puedo decir sí, sí, ya estoy siendo específico de traigo tres pescados. Uh -huh. Era el caso que teníamos acá, ¿verdad? Sí, puede ser contable o incontable, pero cuando nosotros agregamos un partitivo, ¿qué me está indicando cuánto? Una cantidad, una taza de... Ajá. Sí, una taza o de... O una té. cucharada, o una libra. Exacto, un por ejemplo... Cheese. Oigo guitarras mágicas por ahí. Sí, ya no vamos a verificar eso. Ahí, bueno, ya desapareció. ¿sí? Cheese, a slice of cheese. Entonces, cuando hablemos de una manera general, recuerden que estos son considerados incontables. Estamos hablando de una manera general, T y cheese. Pero podríamos hacerlo contable si nosotros agregamos ahí un partitivo. Una taza de, una rodaja de queso, por ejemplo. Ok, so now let's continue with the liquids and gases. Help us, Carlos. Liquids. Examples, water. Milk. Mm -hmm. Veronica? Nice. Wine. Wine. Oil, Joyce. coffee, rain, soup, air, smoke, blue, juice, oh, blow, juice, fog. Fog. Mm -hmm. fog. Okay, so liquids okay. and gases cannot be countable. Okay, they are uncountable. So now let's check the materials. Materials can also be uncountable. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Paper, Paper, wood, glass, paper, gold, silver, ice, iron, 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 iron cotton, wool, and wool. steel. steel. Uh -huh. And look at it. Be careful with this. Uncountable in English. So we have some exceptions. So these words are uncountable. Furniture. So what's okay. furniture? Los muebles, ¿verdad? So that's uncountable. Advice. The word advice is uncountable. Work. Work. The news. Uh -huh. news. Information. Luggage. And luggage. Money. And money. We also have this uh, case with the word time. 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 So that is uncountable. 
Okay, any question about these guys? Any question? So don't worry, we're going to have some practice. Questions? So I suggest you to take a screenshot. May I continue? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, continue. Okay, perfect. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to share something else with you in a moment. Just give me some seconds while I open that. How to use contable and uncountable. No. Uncountable. 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 Uh -huh. Uncountable. Countable and uncountable. Words. Uncountable. Okay. Okay, so we're going to study a little bit more and later we continue uh, practicing. So what do you think about this picture? Is that countable, uncountable? What can you see? What can you see? What can you see? Uh, chairs. Chairs, swivel chairs. And table. And table. Table, what else? Uh, uh, countable. countable. Paper. Paper, okay. So what do you think about the chair? Is that countable or uncountable? Hey, yes, Can countable. I say one chair, two chairs? Yes. Yes, right? Yes. How about that table? Chairs. One table. One table. Okay. Is that countable? Countable. 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 How about paper? For paper. For paper. For Countable. Countable. Paper. It's a material. Uh, so let's go back. Uncountable. 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 Uh -huh. be... Okay, so again, we have materials like wood, glass, paper, gold, silver. Okay, so that's uncountable, right? Perfect. Let's continue. How about these uh, beautiful pictures? Can you tell me about this? So what can you see? So Bob, what can you see? Trees, uh -huh. stone. trees, trees, stones. Okay. Water. What else? Trees. Something you cannot see. Water. Something you cannot see. <laughs> It's air. Water is in <laughs> air. I mean, I was talking about air. Yeah. Okay, so water, fish. countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Stones? Countable. 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 Okay. What do you think about this one? Tree or trees? Trees. Mm -hmm. Trees. Possible, countable, right? Countable. One tree, countable. two trees, three countable. trees. Yes, yeah. countable. Trees are countable. And how about air? Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay, uh, Julio, could you read this, uh, please? Grammar explanation. Explanation, okay. Explanation. Noun can be countable or uncountable. Countable noun can be counted, e.g., and apple to two apples, three apples, etc. Uncountable noun can cannot be counted, e.g., earth, rice, water. When you learn a new noun, you should check if it's, it's countable or uncountable, and, and not how is it used in a sentence. Okay. 
So there you have a, um, let's say, a suggestion. If uh, When you learn a word, so look for that word and try to find out if that is countable or uncountable and look that a word in a sentence. So you can learn about that. Es importante a veces también corroborar una palabra nueva, la busco, veo cuál es su aplicación en contexto para que me ayude a, a generar pues, más ideas, ¿verdad? Okay, countable nouns. Please help me with this one. Rosa, please. Okay, okay. Uh, countable nouns for positive sentence we can use uh, a a link for singular nouns or some for plurals. There's a man at the door. I have some, some friends in New York. For negatives, we can use a and for singular nouns or any for plurals. Okay. I, I don't have a dog. Okay. Okay, so important countable nouns for positive, positive sentences. Positive sentences we can use a or n for a singular noun or some for the plurals. Some for the plurals. There is a man. How many? One, right? I have some friends in New York. Some for the plural, right? So remember that you can add a quantifier. Para que pueda agregar un quantificador, ¿verdad? Para determinar cuántos. Un hombre. Algunos amigos, right? For the negative, we can use A and N for singular nouns or any for plurals. Examples, I don't have a dog. A dog. Negative. There aren't there negative. Aren't look at any seats. There aren't any seats. Okay. Questions so far? Uh -oh. Any. Any lo va a utilizar en oraciones negativas. Okay. Is that your question? Okay. Yeah. Sí. Eh, eh, teacher. Dígame. El, el any, cuando uno es any, es para plural en sentido negativo. Negativo. Any lo vamos a utilizar en oraciones negativas y preguntas. Para countable nouns. Ok. Countable or uncountable. We're going to check that in a moment. Ok. Ok. So just, uh, we're going for report. Ok. Uncountable nouns. So look at this. So here we have the a comparison. So you can use any uh, for countable and uncountable nouns too, okay? Look at this. Here are some examples of uncountable nouns. We use some with uncountable nouns in positive sentences and any with negative. In the fridge. Uh -huh. Example, there is some milk in the fridge. Hay algo de leche en la refrigerador. Probablemente tenemos esa expectativa de que haya algo. Uh, there isn't any coffee. No hay nada de café. Well, there isn't any coffee. Uh, and any here, coffee. Mm -hmm, no hay nada de café. No hay café. Right? Bread. Uh, so there, here we have some other uncountable nouns. Bread, money, rice, advice. So what's the meaning for advice? Advice. Mm -hmm. So on. So what's the meaning for advice? Carlos, the native? ¿Cuál de los dos, teacher? This one. Uh, Carlos. Well, you, Carlos Roberto. <laughs> un, un consejo. Un consejo. Es que, es que consejo. nosotros también le decimos Miguel. <laughs> okay, but well, that's okay. Thank you. Coffee, luggage, luggage, luggage. Information luggage. and furniture, luggage. Okay. luggage. Luggage. So what's luggage? Yes, what's luggage? Lechuga. Mm. Let's see, Carlos again? Or Equipaje. Carmen? Equipaje. Luggage? Equipaje, Equipaje. 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 
Okay, so now let's continue. Questions. Hey, Carlos, please help us now with the questions. In question, we use uh, any, any or how many weeks contable nouns. Is there an email address to write to? Are there any change? Mm -hmm. How many chairs are there? Any chairs. How many chairs? And, and we use any or how much with uncountable nouns? Is there any sugar? Any, any sugar. Any, any sugar. 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 Uh, sugar. 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 Um, how sugar. much orange juice is there? Okay, thank you. So look at this. For questions, we have a lot of quantifiers. So I'm not uh, marrying you to this, right? But A and N and any or how many with countable nouns, okay? Is there an email address? One, right? Look at this, an email address. Are there any chairs? Plural, look at this. Are there mm -hmm. any chairs? So this is for the questions, right? With countable nouns. Are there any chairs? How many chairs are there? Quantas sillas hay? And now let's take a look at um, the expression, the question, how much? We use any or how much with uncountable noun. Is there any sugar? How much orange juice is there? So we can use the question, how many with countable nouns? And the question, how much with countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay, so look at this. Uh, mark this. How much uncountable? How many with? Countable. How many countable? countable? How much uncountable? Perfect. So that's what you have to um, master. Look at this. Now let's continue. We have some exercises. How about any? When do I use any? Any? Countable and uncountable. And uncountable. And How about some? Do you remember? Countable. Countable. Can I use it with countable? You want to check the previous one? Look at this. Look at the example. There is some milk in the fridge. Uncountable in. Can I use it with countable nouns? I have some friends. Yes, right? Yes. So it means countable and countable, the same. Countable and countable. Okay, so look at this. Uh, can you help us with this one, please? Um, let's see, Anna, Anna Marlene. Teacher. Hello, hello, Anna. But when we are offering something or asking for something, we normally use some. Okay. What some chocolate? Chocolate. Okay, we have chocolate. Mm -hmm. Can we have some more chairs, please? We also use some in equation when we think the answer will be yes. Mm -hmm. Have you got some new glasses? Okay, perfect. So here you have another usage. So when you offer something or ask for something, you normally use some. When you're requesting something, te pide algo, right? or you offer, do you want some chocolate? Guys, do you like chocolate? Yes, no? Hello, do you, do you want yes. some chocolate? <laughs> no. Uh -huh. no. No, okay. Uh, 
Can we have some more chairs, please? So you're requesting something. Está solicitando algo, right? We also use some in a question when we think the answer will be yes. So have you got some new glasses? So you hope that they may have a new glasses, right? Entonces usted tiene la expectativa de que su respuesta va a ser afirmativa. Se va a un contrario que se busca, right? Okay. And in here, you have a chart. So this is just a chart. It's solamente es un chart. Just take a screenshot and we're going to check the examples. So again, let's see. When do we use some in positive sentences and any for questions and negatives? I like some sugar. I wouldn't like any sugar. Would you like some sugar? but not for singular nouns. I like an apple. I wouldn't like an apple. Would you like an apple? Okay, guys, uh, I, I want to know if you have any questions. Any question? Okay, so I think that that's clear. Okay, so look at this. You can also use a lot or lots of with um, countable plural nouns and uncountable nouns. For example, you use them in positive, negatives, and questions. There were a lot or lots of people at the party. There wasn't a lot or lots of money in the bank? And do you want a lot of or lots of sugar in your tea? Is it clear the meaning of a, a lot? Carlos, questions? No? Sorry, teacher, se le fue el audio. No se escuchaba. Se le por no no. Ah, uh, well, I was asking if you have any question. Okay, so listen up. I'm going to pass. Um, let's say um, Sarvi. And I want you to answer that. Le voy a pasar ahí una encuesta. Vamos a ver que también lo hacen, ¿ok? Ok, me avisan si ya les aparece en su pantalla. Sí. Ya yeah, aparece. Okay. Yes. So sí, try yes. to answer. So you have to select C, countable or uncountable. Ok, so you just mark the one that you think is correct. Contesten ahí la encuesta y elijan ahí eh, si es contable o incontable la palabra que les aparece en su eh, encuesta. So let me know when you, uh, when you finished. Excellent, you're very fast. Okay. Okay, so we got 13 participants. Let's see, we're missing four. But I, I can't send my... Don't worry, just answer, don't worry. And when you finish, just uh, click on send. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Ok, I'm missing four people. Nos faltan ahí cuatro personas. Ok, nice. So I'm going to stop it here. Let's see. So can you see the results? Yes? Can you see it? Yes. Ok, so look at this. Water, is that countable or uncountable? Water. Contable. Los líquidos son incontables. Water. Milk. How about milk? Uncountable. 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 Perfect. Juice. How about juice? Uncountable. Uncountable. Apples. Contable. Contable. Recuerden que si tiene forma plural, es contable. Contable. How about flowers? Contable. Contable, ok. Book. Contable. Contable. One book, two books, three books, right? Information. Contable. Let me see. Uncountable. Information. Right? Cosas abstractas. For example, love. What else? Hate. ¿Qué más podría ser um, incontable? Parte de información. So what else? Any other ideas? Advice. Mm -hmm. Advice. Advice. Okay. Para. Thank you, guys. No se vayan a asustar si les paso un quiz así. No, that cannot be best. Let's see. So now let's continue with uh, some more practice. And later on, we're going to have uh, some speaking. That we can do that. Okay. Uh, so put the... The nouns, okay, the correct form of the given words into the spaces. So what do you think for the first one? John is eating some, so write it down, write it down. So send me your answers through the chat. So John is eating some potato, is that okay? Potatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes, okay. Potatoes. How about number two? Is there any water? Water in the jar. In the jar. Jar. Yeah. Number three. Can you read number three? Let's see. Carmen, number three. Yes, Guadalupe, number three. Let's say. So what do you think, number three? Somebody mm -hmm. else. How about you? Um, let's see. Julio, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Mother says, Gogo, please Mother give me some. Says. Some jam. Jam. Okay. That's correct. So this is uncountable, right? Okay. Um, what's the meaning for jam? Jam, what's the meaning? Look at this. It's a, a jelly, the marmalade, right? The marmalade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's jam. So that's uncountable. Uh, number four, there are some fishes mm -hmm. in the river. En el caso de fish, también lo vamos a encontrar que tiene su forma plural. Pero la palabra fish puede ser incontable también. Um, how about number five? Are there any? Papito. Tomatoes. 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 Ribbit. Check. Ribbit. 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 Okay, nice. Let's see. Carlos, can you read number one? Johnny, Johnny is eating some tomatoes. Okay. Potatoes, potatoes. Number potatoes. two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, you're, you're <laughs> so that happens at the 9.50. <laughs> okay. Julio, number two. 
Is there any water in the yard? Okay. Number three, Rosa. Mother says, go, go, please give me some again. Okay, Diana. Diana, number four. There are some fish in the river. Okay, number five, Clelia. There aren't any tom tomatoes on the table. On the table, okay, thank you. Okay, so right now, guys, I want you to go to the platform and look at this. Okay, so we're going to work on page um, nine, page nine. So that's uh, going to appear, well, that's going to appear in the exercise that I want you to work with. But um, let me see. Okay, before that, I'm uh, just going to share something else with you. Just hold on, hold on a second. So give me a second. Okay, so listen up. I'm going to send you a document. Well, let's see. No, I'm going to share this um, with you. So I want you to work in pairs right now, and I'm going to send you a document. I'm going to share my screen, and I want you to answer the following um, exercises, okay? So look at this. So you have to fill in the blanks with the correct um, question, how much or how many. So remember how much with countable or uncountable? No. Uncountable. Uncountable, right? Okay. How many? Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Countable. Okay, so I want you to work in these eight exercises, okay? So you're going to have five minutes. Okay, so please join the breakout rooms. Okay, Veronica, le envío la invitación de nuevo.
Hola chicos, una consulta. Todavía se sigue compartiendo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No. Ok, voy a salir entonces para compartírsela de nuevo. Okay. Gracias. Hola, Carmen. Hola, Carmen. Hola. Hola, hola, Carmen. Bueno, y, y dígame cómo se ha sentido. Porque al inicio sí, ¿verdad? Pues siempre empezamos, tratamos de que sean las clases así, participativas. Pero, pero cuénteme. O si no, pues nos quedamos. Bueno, como le decía yo, la verdad no entiendo casi nada. Ajá. Vaya, déjeme ver cómo, qué podemos, cómo podemos ayudarle. Ajá, yo hablé con el muchacho de recursos humanos y le dije que en el que me había inscrito yo no creía poder desempeñarlo y él me dijo no, si va a estar fácil, ya va a ver que le va a entender y yo le dije no, mire, en ese no, no me ponga porque yo no puedo, entonces pero no, que en ese va a poder y que no sé qué y él fue el que me inscribió en ese no, o sea yo para mí hubiera empezado desde abajo porque no, no puedo, pero él me inscribió en eso. Bueno, vamos a hablar más adelantito, quizás si me escribe ahí. Yo envié la foto ahí al grupo para que podamos hablar. Vamos a ver qué, qué podemos hacer. Ver, Ay, si se puede, eh, bueno, vamos a ver, porque no, la verdad es que no sabría dar una respuesta. Pero vamos a ver cómo le podemos ayudar. ¿Ok? Bye. Gracias. Gracias. Hello guys, welcome back. Hello, hello. Question, do you have enough time to finish? Todos terminaron? Yes. Yes. Yes, I finished. Okay, perfect. So we're going to check that. Okay. Bien, vamos a pasar la asistencia, chicos. Uh, just give me a second and say present, ¿ok? Just for the last time. Este día nos quedaríamos con Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Ok, los 10 eh, minutos. Ok. Ok, I'm going to pass the tennis. Okay. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Presente. Ok, uh, Ana Verónica Hernández. Present, Miss. Thank you, Verónica. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel. Thank you, Blanca. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Uh, Blanca Luz Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos, um, Carlos Roberto Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Carmen Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Thank you, Clelia. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Okay. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Okay. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Lady Joana Hernandez. Present. Okay. Thank you. Nilton Alexander Vasquez Galvez. Nilton Alexander Vasquez Galvez. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present, present. Thank you, Rosa. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Verónica, está por ahí. Ok, nada más eh, recordarles que siempre tenemos que tener la camarita encendida. Y bueno, vamos a tratar de pasar la asistencia un poco más temprana. Y porque hemos pasado un tiempo. Bien, chicos, eh, nada más, así, en modo general, me gustaría escucharlos, cómo se sintieron en la clase, eh, para tomar aquí hasta algunos apuntes. Nada más, en modo general. Cuéntenme. Pues bastante bien de mi parte, Michelle. Uh -huh. Sí, me gustaría escucharlos, pues, en bueno. modo general, para saber cómo, cómo andamos, cómo se sintieron, si eh, consideran que se necesita ir un poco más despacio o más rápido. Pero que andamos con todo ahí. No, con todo. Okay. Y venimos con energía, quizás. Excelente. No, me parece bien, me parece bien. Sí, yo los escuché bastante bien. Y pues, este, sí, eso quería saber, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se sentían? Bueno, chicos. Hacer la primera ¿no? clase. Sí, yo digo que hay entusiasmo. Excelente. Entonces, vamos a seguir con ese ritmo, nada más. Eh, pedirles los de la camarita, nada más para que todos pues, nos sintamos bien. Okay, thank you so much guys for this uh, for being here today. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? At see you tomorrow. Bye, bye bye. See you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Eh, para mañana creo que sí ya puedo tener cámara eh... cámara encendida. Sí, sí. Okay, perfecto. Uh -huh. Gracias. Thank you guys. Tonight. Okay, but we have to Anna Marlene. Anna, um, well, tell me, Anna, if you have any question. Okay. Um, I think it's clear. What I'm doing is like, in the free time of the next day, I repeat the classes, like the captures of the screen that I've taken and all that, to be able to complete the task. 
Sí, sí, ahora ya pueden realizar la primera asignación que está en la plataforma. Eh, nada más si hay los, los procesos, ¿verdad? Seguir el enlace de la plataforma y ir a la actividad, a la tarea 1. Uh -huh. Ok, Ana, está bien, de acuerdo. Eh, Carlos, eh, ¿hay alguna pregunta, Carlos? O Rafael. Sí, de mi parte, este. Eh... Bien. Bueno, esta semana precisamente eh, hay una semana de cada mes de que eh, entre, dentro del área llevamos turno, entonces eh, voy en algún momento, si se presenta alguna emergencia, pues me voy a tener que ausentar, ¿verdad? Por, la, por las labores de mi trabajo. Y eh, lo otro es, eh, también tengo eh, por la noche lo que son mis clases de universidad, entonces también para, para, poderlo, para poderse hacer saber y que en algún momento pues eh, quizás también tenga que, que, que pedirle ese, ese permiso. Ok, Rafael. Bueno, Rafael, eh, sí, eh, según, bueno, los lineamientos que manejamos es que no, pues no se conceden permisos, pero este, hay un porcentaje que debes de alcanzar. Tienes que considerar este, el, el tiempo que te tomaría también. Correcto, correcto. Ajá, igual, este, puedes escribirme para que podamos ver también tu caso y este, podamos ver ahí cómo te ayudamos también. Sí, claro. De acuerdo, gracias. Rafael. Muchas gracias. Y... Gracias. Bueno, chicos, entonces, eh, Carlos, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta. Carlos Roberto. Activa el micrófono. Sí, por favor. Apare aún me aparece inactivo el micrófono. <ríe> No, teacher, solo que la, la recomendación que teníamos con los instructores anteriores era de que al final, así como se ha tomado esos minutos después de la hora, trabajar en la plataforma porque algunos no entran. Entonces, mm. para y los igual que no se está muy familiarizado en la plataforma, entonces así lo habíamos trabajado durante el módulo. No sé si se va a seguir trabajando de la misma manera. Mm -hmm. ¿Lo trabajaba durante la clase de plataforma? Pues fíjese que... O al final, después de la... Al final, me hizo al final lo hacía. Uh -huh. Y rapidito. Sí. sí, lo vamos a... Mañana lo vamos a incorporar. Ok, okay. solamente. De acuerdo, Carlos, muchas gracias. Muy amable. A usted. Gracias, buenas noches. Gracias, igual.